Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it is dark and early. On Monday morning, we've got the Final Fantasy VI reissue collaboration coming back this week. You just saw the preview video for that, so... All right, let's talk about it. We've got Kefka dropping with a new vision card. So Kefka is going to be main job mad mage. That's a new job for him. Arithmetician energist sub jobs. Uh, mad mage is looking like a big AOE class with debuffs attached to it. So we'll do his full preview video tomorrow. But here's what they talk about. We got a diamond shaped AOE limit break with confusion attached to it and large damage. So that's obviously going to be a very powerful move. Confusion sucks to have cast on your team it's not the most debilitating status effect ever but yo you still don't want to get confused a very powerful pvp move right there then light of judgment another diamond shaped aoe move this one has attack magic and agility debuff attached to it for three turns and then the tp move that they show off show me your power this is the coolest move of the three in my opinion because essentially what it does is he walks up to his group he shifts aggro to them he buffs two people's aggro or i guess in a pve group he can buff up to four but it's an aggro buff for his allies that also raises their spirit and aoe resist for three turns essentially he just doesn't want to get hit and i don't blame him who would want to get hit then vision card coming out power of the warring triad this is sword warrior ninja blade staff devout glove main job so actually four different job sets that could equip this it's magic attack up defense up max hp up this is an interesting one like these are very old stats and what i mean by old stats is you don't have aoe resist on here or reaction block rate or slash attack resistance penetration this is like old school three stats i'm not sure if that's better or worse off the top of my head but it's magic attack defense max hp the bestowed effect is magic up with missile attack resist up and then kefka's global upgrade is going to be accuracy up with attack ability activation time reduced as a bestowed effect on his vision card so there you go he's going to have a training board a bingo board coming out the vision card will also have a bingo board coming out and then his job is called a job with great survivability so we'll see what that is is that just passing the aggro off or is it more um, can buff AOE resist, hate for allies, and re-raise. So he has re-raise in there somewhere on himself. His job is getting the EX upgrade because of course it is. He's coming out right now. And then you see a JP bonus right here for himself, the other FF6 characters, June, Velis, Asterius, Lucio, and Rafael. So interesting. Maybe there's more to come on them in a minute. There is. All right, here we go. Final Fantasy VI reissue event quests, another story update, and more. So here we go go we're gonna get the final fantasy 6 event metal farming quest back so you'll be able to farm some metals trade them in at the shop you'll get leveling materials for the units from the collab locks dagger and terra's sword going to be farmable again so that's good i haven't seen anything about making them a plus six yet maybe i missed it in my first look through here um maybe i did celis's sword also going to be farmable again these aren't weapons that i get a ton of use out of i'm not gonna lie so a plus six for them would be really really nice uh da, 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 da. it still hasn't said anything about that kefka's gloves are going to be farmable as well so here you can see the goofy looking yellow green red blue glove things that kefka wears it only goes on his ring finger um so there you go you'll be able to farm those out this week let's see here yeah it didn't say anything about plus 16 those weapons that i'm curious i'm curious okay starting on the 31st as well the event shop will be there no doubt his starter quest will be here then another story chapter 2 scene 3 ex quest added with a new farmable piece of accessory that specifically buffs the warriors of the crystal so i'll talk about this in my preview video as well but it's an acquired ap up necklace for everybody that has uh, buffs for all warriors of the crystal on it so if you want to see exactly if you want me to talk a little bit more about that watch the preview video tomorrow it's called the amulet of light and then the path to transcendence ex quest so lucio's ex job going to be unlocked uh it looks like lucio's transcendence is going to be unlocked it's called ex quest but uh it's transcendence so you're going to get mind spheres a special uh antler just for him which is really good i don't have any of the rainbow antlers left so i kind of need one uh so path to transcendence will be added to another story chapter one ex quest 
on Wednesday. So a lot of people will be cashing in on an upgraded Lucio right there. Then special Brutal and Nightmare Difficulty EX Quest where you can acquire items necessary to further enhance Lucio been added. Okay, you can also collect all items needed to unlock Transcendence. Good. So you're not going to have to like shell out anything it looks like which is awesome that'll be in a nightmare difficulty quest then train lucio take on the path of transcendence and acquire mind spheres and a kindle light antler so that's what the antler is going to be called good um you get lucio by beating the quest you can't summon for him awesome now legendary reliquaries getting more stuff added already let's go this is quick they're adding a Uochibo and the mirasame so i remember the mirasame i always confuse this with the mass immune as a kid in final fantasy tactics so it's coming to the game as well we'll look at those in the preview video but it'll be legendary reliquaries again so you'll have the quest you'll have that room with this time limit on it we'll be able to play through that again and get some new good gear the last two pieces of gear were insane let's see how good these are as well also you'll be able to earn an antler thank goodness and scrolls of vicissitude what did i say that right i think i did you'll be able to earn some ur scrolls as well so legendary reliquaries yep that's coming out da 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 da, -da. and then sure we already know how to do it okay i just looking for anything on here that would say about like uh, we'll just continue we'll continue i i thought maybe i missed that like there was plus six or 140s for some units coming out hold on just a second yeah, I just went and checked. So, like, I, I, I thought this was the case, but Celis, Locke, and Terra do not have a Master Ability 2 or a 140 yet. So, are we getting them, like, next week during the collaboration or something? That'll be, that'll be something to keep your eyes on. Anyway, here we go. We got some updates to the Vision Card classification list. I don't really read through those. And then there's going to be an official updates video. Maybe they will talk more about what I just mentioned here. It'll be the, what, 27th live stream with the Justin and Hiroki. Uh, there'll be presents. It's on the official channels. When is it? When is it? Uh, 529 at 1900 per Pacific Daylight Time. So that's 7 p.m. Pacific. That'll be 11 p.m. my time. Ooh, that's late for me. But I'll still probably stay up and catch that on the 29th, which is today. So, uh, yep, guess I'm watching that tonight. There we go. Tune in. I'll see you guys there. I'm going to be live streaming today. It's a little earlier than I normally do because uh, I'm in summer break hours for today. So my stream will be a little earlier than normal. We'll feel out where these live streams should fall during the summer. But if you want to check out the live stream, comes, uh, it's too early, man. It's too early. My boards are failing. I'll see you there. See you later, everybody. Peace. Hey guys, before you go, I want to give a big shout out to a new partnership I've taken on here at the channel, Rogue Energy. These guys have saved me so much money over the last few weeks as I've moved off of drinking canned energy drinks that I've been buying at like the gas stations, at Walmart, stuff like that, and I've moved to Rogue Energy Powders. Let me tell you about them a little bit. Now, Rogue Energy is a company that makes energy drinks and hydrating drinks. Their energy drink powders mix super well. They're super delicious. This is the one I'm drinking right now, Blue Raspberry. It's $35 a tub and you get 30 servings. Now, I have a discount code that they gave me, AJ Energy. This will bring the price down to less than a dollar per serving. If you think about that, an energy drink you're buying at the gas station, two to three dollars, this less than one dollar. You can see how I've been saving so much money by drinking this stuff. I've also been drinking their hydration drinks. This is not going to have any of the caffeine in it that like an energy drink has. None of their drinks have any sugar and they're really delicious. They have great flavors. I'm currently drinking rainbow candy right now, but I tried all of the flavors available and I didn't hate any of them. The energy drink, I'm on blue raspberry right now. This one has 175 milligrams of caffeine. Again, no sugar, but all the B vitamins and energy stuff that you need. Also, also, this is a big deal for me. No more cans. If you know, if you've watched me do polls, I often over here, you can't see over here, but often over to the side over here, I have piles of old cans, some of which have a little bit of a residue in them, and that's nasty. So no longer by throwing away can after can after can after can. Instead, for less than a dollar a day, I'm getting a superior tasting product, which is a big deal. No carbonation, which is a big deal for my stomach, and I'm saving a lot of money. So Rogue Energy, thank you guys for partnering with my channel. I'm happy to be promoting you, and I'm also super happy to be drinking your stuff 
literally every day. Guys, please click the link in the description or the comment section here and use the code AJENERGY at checkout to save yourself that 20%, dropping that price to less than $1 per serving. All right, have a great day, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.